In our grades seven and eight class, we are starting our new assignment, which is procedural writing. As an introduction, I challenged the students to create the steps required to make hot chocolate. So together as a group, they shared their ideas and we wrote down step by step the instructions that they think are required in order to make hot chocolate. And I told them that upon completing this task, I would bring the list home, follow the instructions, and make a hot chocolate. Step one, get a mug. Step two, get your kettle. Step three, place mug on counter. Step four, get your hot chocolate mix. Step five, fill your kettle with water. Fill it. Okay, all the way to the top. For safety's sake, I only filled it up to the max line, not all the way to the top. Step six, place kettle on counter and plug in an outlet. Step seven, Tear open hot chocolate mix and pour in previously mentioned mug. Step eight, turn on kettle. When kettle turns off, pour the water from the kettle into previously mentioned mug. Okay, so the next step, number nine, when the kettle turns off, pour the water from the kettle into previously mentioned mug. And it sounds like our kettle is just about to turn off. So, oh, there it goes. Okay, so pour the water from the kettle into previously mentioned mug. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up the kettle. I'm gonna pick up my mug and pour it in the mug. Oh man. Ooh, the steam is hot. Ouch. Okay. Get a spoon from drawer, put in mug and stir. I've only got two hands. I'm gonna put the mug down and the kettle down. Get a spoon from drawer. Put in mug and stir.
do I... How long do I stir for? I'm gonna stop there. Oh. Get milk from fridge and pour into mug. Get milk from fridge and pour into mug. If, oh, if it overflows, pour some out. Some. Pour the hot chocolate in your mouth. Put mug in dishwasher. And that is how our class says to make hot chocolate.